question six, we're looking at the standard normal distribution. And we have a mean of 2.5 and a sigma of 0 0.3. And we want to solve this problem. So you'll notice it's not normalized on this side, but it's normalized on this side of the equality. Well, let's draw a picture of what this looks like. It'll help us. If our mean's there, we know that being greater than 3.1, the mean's 2.5, being greater than 3.1 will be this area here. And we're looking for the B value that will give the same area on the other side of the bell curve. So the first thing to do is to normalize this so we have something to work with. So we know the formula for that. You subtract off the mean and divide by the standard deviation. So let's subtract off the mean and divide by the standard deviation. That gives 0 0.6 on 0 0.3, which equals 2. Now, is that our answer? It actually isn't because this would give the standard Z value for here. We want the value for here. So by an argument of symmetry, would say that B is actually equal to negative 2. So watch out for that one. You have to use symmetry there. Similarly, you have to use a lot of symmetry in this question. We have to figure out this conditional probability. They've given us a piece of information. They've said that the probability that Z is less than one, so that might be about there. They're saying that area there is 0 0.16. Using just that, we have to figure out what this conditional probability is. First thing you want to do is normalize your values. So we'll say Z1 is 2.8 minus 2.5 on 0.3 which gives us 1, and Z2, well, you could work it out, but you'll notice 2.5 is the mean. So when you normalize that, you expect it to be 0. Let's rewrite this statement using Z values. So instead, we're going to say Z is less than 1, given Z is greater than 0. Okay, we know conditional probability, we know that's the same as the intersection, the probability of the intersection of those two over the probability that Z is greater than zero. Right, how do we find this intersection? Well, Z being less than one, so over here, it's symmetrical to this one, and Z being greater than zero is this line here. So that intersection is here. Now notice by symmetry that this area is the same as this area. And notice that that's half of the distribution there. So this part up the top is going to be 0 0.5 minus this area here, which is the same as this one, minus 0 0.16 over the probability that Z is greater than zero. Well, it's normal, so the probability it's greater than zero is 0 0.5. That gives us 0 0.34 over 0 0.5. Now, it wants the answer to two decimal places, so let's get this over 100, which becomes 68 on 100, which equals 0 0.68. And that is your answer.